This week, moviegoers get more than they bargained for. KitKat defies gravity. How a big bank is using a comedian to boost its brand power. And someone finally trying to improve the dreaded corporate video. On screen, on Facebook and on Twitter, this is Mags on Media. All right, let's start with this. How often haven't you gone to a conference and been subjected to five minutes of hell as the sponsor's corporate video is played? Usually grainy views of product and the chief executive officer peering nervously into the camera and uh, reading a badly written script. But it can be better, says Nick Lawrence, head of broadcast at global PR agency Wagner Edstrom. At the heart of it is storytelling, but my assessment is right. Most of these corporate videos that we see are just plain awful, aren't they? I think traditionally they have been. Mm -hmm. um, you, you can go back to the you go back to the the, the birth of mm -hmm. the, uh, the the corporate video back in the eighties, yeah. and uh, and I think back then it was a it was kind of a new toy for for corporates. Yeah. And the mentality of corporate video was that it, it developed its own language. Mm -hmm. That there had to be a certain look and a feel, and still has to be a certain look own and a certain feel. Own language and own voiceover style. Yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And cheesy music. Yeah. And and it's funny how uh, how companies will present their brand in in the most uh, professional and elegant way in which they can take great time over visuals, take great time over advertising campaigns. Yet it, when when it comes to corporate videos, that, that sense leaves the room, and they think that some horribly cobbled together, nastily shot, terribly scripted piece will do. Is it a lack of skill, a lack of budget, or a lack of interest? I think it's a lack of understanding of audience, to be honest. I think a, a lot of corporates traditionally haven't understood that the audience that watches a corporate video is precisely the same audience that watches programs like yours mm -hmm. and, and network television. And actually, people do understand the grammar of television, yet mm -hmm. uh, but corporates don't quite get that. The storytelling, the visuals, the way it's presented, it's people, it's plot, it's place, and it's also that why do I care factor. Mm -hmm. why, why should people watch this piece? Well, ultimately, what is the brand benefit of a corporate video? Nowadays, we've got such a fractured media landscape. We've got uh, a multiplicity of audiences watching a multiplicity of content across uh, mm. uh, very diverse audience groups. Brand now needs to engage with an audience in which th they've never done before. You look at the impact of social media, it's kind of democratised the audience. People can pick and choose, and so it's important now for the brand to, be enga to engage directly with the consumer. that audience that's looking at the video are key stakeholders who ultimately are going to spend money with the brand. They've got to be able to trust what they're seeing, but more importantly, they've got to be able to engage with what they're seeing. And if you think back to the greatest ad campaigns, for example, ever that we've ever seen, yeah. it's always been about emotional engagement. And I think that's the key to be able to emotionally engage with a piece of content is something that's a bit of an anathema to to It's also corporates. quite difficult. I mean, explain this to me. It's all about the storytelling. I yes. buy that, but it's tough finding a story about a factory that makes liquid polymers. Or is it? I don't know. Well, <laughs> in that factory, yeah. you have people. Yeah. And, and I think, it, yes, it's always a challenge. Yeah. But we've got, we've got clients at uh, Wagner Edstrom where they don't deal with very interesting mm. uh, technical. It's very, very deep tech sometimes. You've got deep tech products. But actually, pulling out great stories, mm. out, is, that's, that's what we're there mm. to do. And, and people are always at the heart of products. There's got to be something in there. There's got to be something that's going to be impacting the end user, the end consumer, that people are going to find interesting. So very quickly, um, if you're going to engage in this type of brand communication, what's the optimum strategy that you need to employ from the get-go? Is it finding the right person to write the script? Um, I think so. It's, it's, a, it's a multiplicity. Bear in mind the three ingredients that make mm. any great story. People, plot, place. Mm. Ask the editorial question, why do I care? And then employ somebody that really knows what they're doing to write the script and employ broadcast professionals mm. preferably to shoot your stuff because mm. they understand the language and the grammar of television. Yeah. And if the chief executive can't do it properly, find someone who actually can Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Yeah.
Nick, good talking to you. Let's uh, stay with uh, broadcast. And when the uh, Island Davenport Agency was tasked with creating a clever eye-catching campaign to launch the new Fox Crime Channel on the DSTV bouquet, they needed to find a way to connect with an audience that is passionate about crime stories. So in conjunction with Spitfire Films, they ended up giving moviegoers much more than they bargained for when they bought their movie ticket. Touch anything. Okay, hit the lights. Oh my god. What the hell happened here? grabbing audience attention, isn't it? Now, here's an ad that caught our attention this week. The new Kit Kat television campaign explores the consequences that would ensue if two necessities, gravity and the internet, uh, both took a break. The agency at JWT suggesting the world would simply fall to pieces. <laughs> Imagine if gravity took a break. Shortcuts would not be a good idea. Girls with weaves? Good luck to you. Taxi drivers will become pilots. And street hawkers? They would reach new heights. So maybe gravity shouldn't take a break. But that doesn't mean we can't. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Well, the production company was Fresh Eye Films. It's a nice take on an established sales proposition and a real sense of realism has been created. You can tell us what you think on Facebook and on Twitter. Coming up on Mags on Media, how ABSA owned the skies over Ellis Park. <laughs> Ence.com.